So um, I did the RTF training ministry and um, as part of the um, uh, journey I was on was um, the area of conflict and I didn't, I've always sort of found it difficult to have uh, tricky conversations or uh, sometimes I find I avoid things or avoid people if they seem um, a bit intimidating. Um, and I'd felt recently that I'd sort of been starting to avoid nearly everyone <laughs> or I'd go into a situation and just think like 90% seemed like the enemy and I was starting to look, almost like become like an uh, injured wild animal. So um, I felt like this was a good thing to bring to the ministry, this area of conflict, dealing with um, you know, things that need to be dealt with. So um, the ministry itself, the RTF, was really good. It was um, a safe place. People, um, you know, really brought God into your life. And um, yeah, it was a really good, safe place to be. Yeah, so um, the, the ministry has been really good. There's been, it was a really good, safe place. And um, yeah, a chance to sort of look at the issue and start to see where it come from and how it's impacting now and what God do about it so I, ha I went through this the ministry and then what you do is you, you, you for a month later you sort of just look at what God showed you and what and sort of keep uh, thinking about it now about a month later I was on Rains Park platform and uh, just about to catch a train home and um, uh, three young girls physically attacked a lady as she was coming up onto the platform and they just really laid into it. It was really unusual behavior. And uh, people rallied around and supported her and got her to a safe place. And the three sort of young ladies who were really angry and aggressive sort of swore and sort of uh, went off down the platform. Um, and it was quite busy. So, um, and I just stood there. And um, then um, I felt like I wanted to say something. So sort of, um, I sort of looked at them and I said, uh, what have you done? And they were like, a bit aggressive. And then I said it again, what, what have you done? And I just sort of left that question floating out there where they got a bit feisty and said, oh, you know, we could have thing kill you and, you know, you can, you know, they were trying to intimidate me, but I just said, yeah, I'm not, I'm not frightened of you. I sort of know where I'm going. And I, but again, I left it and there was sort of a tumbleweed moment where it got a bit quiet and everyone on the platform sort of looked at there, looked at me, looked at them and wondered what we were going to do and, I, and, uh, and then I just sort of left it and then I was, the train came in, I checked on the lady who had been attacked, you know, and she seemed quite happy and that people had cared for her. The girls got on, you know, someone probably called the police and I got on and I just thought, well, that was an unusual thing for me to do. I don't normally do that and I think it was... Um, a sort of a change in me where perhaps the ministry had impacted a bit of me where I'd been afraid and I was starting to sort of feel a little bit more comfortable with my surroundings and myself. And, um, sorry, <laughs> there's chairs moving, can I stop? <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> okay.